All right, let's get started. Thank you for waking up early and coming over to the Computer History Museum. This is a new venue for us. We're, we're, we're getting used to it. It's, uh, it's nice. I, um, so we have, a, we have an excellent lineup for you this morning. And I just have a couple of words before our first, uh, first speaker, Dave Patterson. What I'd like to remind you is what is the point of this conference? Why do we do it every year? And this is the fourth time that we're doing it. It's because what we're seeing is a tremendous amount of research moving from academia into industry in each of these areas that I have up on the slide here. So for each of these uh, little text boxes, there's essentially an entire ecosystem of research conferences, folks that are um, dedicating their entire careers. These are, these are um, the speakers that you're seeing today. Um, they have open source projects in each of these areas. And, and they are leaders in each of these, essentially, I don't want to minimize it by saying text boxes. These each are thriving research fields. And, and so what we have is people who deal with very large amounts of data, people who deal with learning algorithms, training models, replicating those models, serving those models in a way that, that we have maximum efficiency, and in general, pushing the boundaries to scale machine learning through uh, any way they can, either, either um, models, algorithms, um, infrastructure, and, and computing platforms in general. So today we're going to hear about some open source projects that are the interface between the hardware components and the software components for machine learning. This seems to be a very focal and important area for understanding why and how machine learning is being scaled in industries and where academic research is also going in. So we're going to have the creators of uh, TensorFlow, PyTorch, uh, Spark, Rapids, this year is new, CAFE, OpenAI, and Metroid, and leading AI chip developers speaking with us uh, to, for about, about, what they're, about what they're up to. And of course, uh, two Turing Award winners, the Turing Award for Deep Learning was announced this morning. Uh, the Turing Award was announced for this morning, and it was for Deep Learning. We'll hear more about that from our first speaker, who is also a keynote, uh, sorry, who is also a Turing Award winner, uh, Dave Patterson, and, and tomorrow, uh, Manuel Blum. So I'm humbled to be speaking alongside these folks. Uh, so there's a lot of really good, uh, amazing talks coming up. And um, we also have some new things this year. We have a poster session that is made up of the talks that were submitted uh, on the website. So this is new this year. There's a, there's a poster session just off of where the registration desk was. So I will point everyone to that. The posters are up. So you can go and sort of see them if, if, if you're taking a break. And um, New, another new thing this year is that it's a two-day event. So previously, it was a one-day event. We never had enough uh, time to fit in all the speakers that we wanted, to do all the things that we wanted. And so we've made it a two-year event, two-day event this year. The venue is new. We've been, we were on Stanford campus. We're putting it on the Computer History Museum to make it a little bit more independent. right? So this is, I, I can't think of a more good place to make historic announcements. And the Computer History Museum seems like a Seems like a perfect place for it. And, and given the nature of the day with all kinds of awards being announced, it's kind of perfect. And of course, we have sponsors and we have booths uh, this year for the first time as well. And you saw them hopefully on the, just, just lining up um, with, with booths just outside. So please go and, and visit them during the breaks, during lunch, and uh, in the evening. We also have a, um, a, during the poster session, there'll be snacks and food in the evening. Of course, there'll be lunch, but during the evening, there'll be snacks and food. Um, that's part of why we got sponsors. It makes a lot of sense to help with that. And the, the, uh, the, the, the sponsors will be there during the, during the snacks and the poster session as well. So thank you to Apple, Quora, HP, Intel, Dell, Graphcore, Google, ICME, and Samsung for their support. Really appreciate, uh, really appreciate their, their support here. And uh, the posters and poster sessions are new, so I, f I feel a need to, to remind you several times. 5 to 7 p.m. is the poster session today. So without further ado, oh, well, uh, I just want to remind you of uh, a tweet that, that went out uh, a while ago about how this sort of seems like a, the Solvay conference for, from 1927. 
Um, and this morning, it kind of feels a lot more like that, given the announcements that happened this morning. Um, with, uh, this, is, this, is, this is the Solvay conference that had a lot of really pioneering physicists. Uh, I feel like it's almost tongue-in-cheek to be compared to that, but it wasn't me. I didn't compare us to that. Um, with the folks we have here, I, 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 it's, there, it's because of them that it's like that. It's, it's, uh, I, can, I can defer to the much more senior folks. So the schedule for the morning is, um, is up at scaledml.org. In the very first half of the morning, we have uh, Dave Patterson. Then I will give you an update of what Metroid has been up to. Then we have Facebook and Intel. And then we go to lunch and come back uh, in an hour after that. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to give the, uh, the podium to Dave Patterson. Dave, please.